I forgot about the audio. So I was thinking about the kind of videos that I want to be making now that I'm coming back to YouTube from a stronger position and I'm actually thinking of the kinds of videos I wish people made for me. I wish people made more videos about what it's like leaving the Orthodox Jewish community and acclimating to the secular world. It's a really scary process and it would have been so nice to hear more people talking about it. By the way, some of you have reached out over the years and asked me to make more off the derech videos and I just want you to note that it meant the world to me that you cared about what I had to say about it. So thank you. In case you forgot what going off the derech means, it means when people leave the Orthodox Jewish community in some form, if you're a uh, Mormon or Muslim or Amish or like any other tight religious group with a lot of rules, you might be able to relate. It's not like you just wake up one day and you're like, goodbye God, I'm secular now. There's a lot more that goes into leaving such a tight religious faith. And if you're thinking about doing it but are still on the fence, I want you to consider a few obstacles that you might be dealing with and determine whether it's still worth the big jump. First of all, erase whatever your fifth grade teacher told you told you about what happens when people go off the derech. Yeah, they become addicted to drugs, sleeping around, getting a bunch of STIs, and probably end up suicidal. That might actually be anecdotally true. A lot of people who leave the religious community without a proper support system might seek out unhealthy habits because they're feeling lost and lonely and desperate maybe, but being secular doesn't mean that you have to be any of those things. In fact, most secular people that I know are not on drugs, they're not sleeping around and getting STIs, and they're actually pretty okay. Being secular doesn't have to mean that you don't have some kind of discipline and healthy structure in your life, but it does mean that you're going to be abandoning the system of discipline and structure that you are used to for a new system, and that's going to cause a lot of chaos for now, maybe. Before you decide to take on the off the derech journey, I would consider reaching out to a few people who have done it already. Familiarize yourself with some of the real challenges you might face in a secular world, whether it's fitting in with a new culture, feeling okay in a new lifestyle, being able to support yourself emotionally and financially while you're building this whole new life, and most importantly, not having something to believe in that is as clear cut as what you were taught in your religious community. The nature of having a faith is that you don't question it. You believe because your act of believing in the faith makes it true. The secular world isn't like that. You're not going to have things to believe in that are as absolute and clear cut. Even science is constantly evolving. You're going to have to be okay with not knowing and constantly exploring. A big part of going off the derech is asking yourself whether losing the security of a clear cut faith is worth the adventure of discovering things for yourself. Another thing I'd consider before leaving the religious community is the possibility of dampening some of the relationships that you've had until now. Not necessarily because of any lack of tolerance, but actually because being secular might logistically divide you from your friends and family that are religious. Think about what would happen if you moved to a new city where there is no non-kosher food and your family wants to visit you, but they can't be in a place where they can't keep kosher. And then on top of that, your dishes aren't kosher either so it's going to be harder for them to visit you. You're basically putting a wall between yourself and them by going secular whether or not you intended to. So before making the move I'd consider some of the challenges and maybe come up with a plan for how to get around it in order to keep your religious friends and family close while still choosing your own path. Or maybe you might not see keeping them around as worth it. It's your choice. My goal is to help you make an informed decision not necessarily to deter you. Moderation is going to really be your friend in this off the derech journey. There are so many differences between the firm world and the secular world that you would never have thought of. And when they all come at you, it's all going to feel like you're a lost indigenous person from the Andes trying to survive in the big city. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Keep your ears and eyes open and allow yourself to enjoy the journey. The truth is that when it's not scary, it can actually be quite fun, in my opinion. But the key is that you're doing what makes you happy in the long term and that, you're, and that you believe in what you're doing. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I hope these videos are helping you be more purposeful about your relationship with God and help you get a little closer to the life that you were meant to live. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Alphadera content. See you all next week.